hospitals, nonprofits, and even jails are constantly asking people to donate their time to help Virginians who may need it the most. Tonight, our Greg McQuaid introduces us to a man you nominated who may have the longest resume of community service in the metro. Hear his story in tonight's Heroes Among Us. Eddie is everywhere, volunteering all around town. There are individuals who dedicate their lives to helping people. He's everywhere for everybody. And then there's Eddie Baird. Being selfless means a person is concerned more with the needs and wishes of others than with one's own. And that pretty much sums up Baird. Eddie is a fixture at St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Church Hill. The church has always been a part of my life. The soft-spoken Baird takes volunteering to a new level. At the end of the day, what have you accomplished complaining? Nothing. Eddie regularly collects clothes for Catholic charities, gathers books for soldiers at Fort Lee, collects baby items for moms in need on Mother's Day, delivers DVDs to veterans at McGuire, serves coffee and donuts at services every Sunday, collects toiletries and reading materials for inmates, volunteers at the USO, cooks at the Little Sisters of the Poor, stands in the cold ringing bells for the Salvation Army, and clears overgrown brush at an African-American cemetery and places flags on veterans' graves. At least for this Veterans Day, the grave was cleared and they weren't forgotten. They had a flag, so. Eddie's most cherished moments come when he spends time with high-risk inmates in solitary confinement Fridays at Richmond City Jail. I could have been there. I could have easily gotten caught up in that. He very, very, very easily. So, luckily, thank God, I didn't. Eddie, a member of the Knights of Columbus, lives by one motto. The expression, if not us, who, if not now, when. Mr. Baird, who is married, volunteers all while working a full-time job. Sometimes I overextend myself, but usually, usually not. Well, I don't know how he makes time for it all, but he does. Fellow parishioner Jane Murphy marvels at Eddie's dedication. He's very quiet, very humble. Jane says he is an inspiration for everyone at St. Patrick's. A really, really good guy. Eddie says he draws inspiration from Pope Francis, who encourages people to help those on the fringes. Mr. Baird takes that message to heart. If we could all do just small acts of kindness, maybe, just maybe, we could change. Maybe, if not the world, maybe just retro, maybe, maybe just your street. It's one amazing man. In the coming days, Eddie Baird, along with his fellow parishioners at St. Patrick's, will be organizing a back-to-school event for the Boys and Girls Club located in Churchill, a celebration of education. Eddie Baird, a hero among us, is doing his best to make sure he leaves Richmond better than how he found it. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.